Hey, welcome to Ringy Geek. We're here to tell you today why we don't really care for the big retail box antivirus softwares on the market today. I, I just think they're like a little bloated. Don't you agree? They slow your computer down more than more than anything else that we've found out there. To a crawl, most of them. And we know this, right? Because yeah. we deal with this every day. They also cause conflicts with other programs in your computer. They yes. can cause problems. Yes, a lot of them. Now, we're not telling you don't run antivirus software because you, you really want to run antivirus software to protect you. Mm -hmm. But do you really want to run a antivirus software that's going to uh, slow your computer to a crawl? No, you don't. You know, the big retail chains, I'm looking right here. I see Panda, Norton, McAfee, um, Viper, Avast, um, Kapersky. I, I, I've used them all. And a lot of them, a lot of times, I go on computers and they're running Norton or McAfee. Norton or McAfee seems like the, the top two. And from our experience, right, when we take those out, it solves a lot of the problems that customers are calling for. Yep. And um, they're saving a lot of money. Just take their antivirus software out and put a better one in. Lighter footprint. You do have to be careful if you're Robert. removing it on your, on your own. And not with a... Oh, you mean if you're going to take it out of your computer, uninstall? Yeah, because can it remove part of Windows? It can wipe... It can basically take your, your the Win, Winstock connection out of your computer, so mm -hmm. your internet will break. Um, and it's hard to get back for the average user that doesn't know how to fix the computer. So I would recommend backing up your data before you try pulling your existing antivirus software out and then reinstalling it. And if you have a lot of data and you don't have a backup and you want to pull the antivirus software out, I would just disable the antivirus software mm -hmm. and put the new one in. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Um, you got to go to services usually and disable it. Stop the service. Put it to disable. But I think, um, I think that what we use is um, Microsoft Security Essentials. It's free through Microsoft. You don't have to pay anything for it. Mm -hmm. And it seems to work the best. The computers do not run slow after I put this on there, right? We've got it in every office computer here that we own. So, yeah. and, and every one of our clients' computers. And how many have we put it in? Thousands or hundreds? Thousands. I can't even give you a number. <laughs> thousands and thousands of Microsoft Security Essentials. So we love it. And matter of fact, it seems to block everything. It seems to block more than the big box chain manufacturers. And you know what really kills us is we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get into a computer and um, it'll be all messed up. I'll be full of viruses and it'll be loaded up full of viruses with the antivirus virus software that's on there. Usually the case is Norton, right? McAfee Usually. or Trend Micro. Usually. Or, or Panda or, I mean, I'm just looking at, I, I can't, I, I'm not trying to focus in on one thing and saying, well, you're bad, Norton's bad. I'm not saying that, I'm saying it makes your computer run slow. And we're just giving you our opinion. What this is we our have opinion. seen throughout the years of online computer repair and home repair. Right. So, you know, you may love Norton and that's fine, but we're just explaining to our our, show, our listeners and, you know, our clients. That it's not always the case that you should be running what you think it should be running, what everybody else tells you. Right. Um, and uh, why not have something that for free that makes your computer run faster and it protects it the same if more. So I picked the free one, sorry, but Free one wins, and it works better. Sometimes freer is better. Sometimes freer is better. We've said in other videos that it's not, but sometimes it is. Um, so, you know, what really kills me is Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, it comes with Microsoft Security Essentials already preloaded on the operating system. Comes with it. But if you go to the big retail stores, they'll go ahead and sell you McAfee or Norton or Trend Micro on top of that, like a sandwich. Why would you pay for that when you have something for free that works better? But what happens is sometimes they'll put two on top of each other and then they conflict and then they yeah. have problems. I, yeah, I've seen them I've seen them put Norton in McAfee in. I don't understand, I don't get it. If McAfee would be already in there and then they would sell Norton on top of that for another 60 bucks or whatever they charge. Mm -hmm. This isn't making any sense. When you go to, and you better buy a computer in a retail store brand new and it has Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, you have protection already. Don't buy anything else. Don't sink, throw your money away. If you want to throw your money away, give it to us. We'll just take it for free then. No, right? we won't. Well, we will if, if they're going to throw it away in any of our softwares, right? No, we'll lead them in the right direction. We'll lead you in the right direction. Every in, time. Every time. 
But um, we're here to just to, to tell you pre ahead of time, if you're going to buy a new computer, um, you know, try to put security essentials on it. And actually, it's called Windows Defender, just so you don't get confused. If you buy Windows 8, it's called Windows De Defender, but it's really Microsoft Security Essentials. It's the same thing. They're exactly the same, just a different name. They just call it different. And if you don't want to take our advice, just do some research on your own, at least yeah. before, you know, even if you're not buying a new computer and you have an old computer and you're looking for some kind of a better software to protect you from viruses, mm -hmm. you don't have to go with what we're saying, but definitely do your research on what is out there. I agree. I agree 100%. And make sure you're only doing one virus scanner. Because like we said, if you, you sandwich them together, they're going to conflict, and then right. you're going to have errors, yep. your computer will run slow, things yep. like that. So be very careful. Right. And you, there's definitely a difference between virus, malware, and spyware. Yeah, we'll if we'll you explain want, that in a Yeah, we'll explain video. it later. Like, if you want to run malware bytes with an antivirus software, that's fine. You can do that. You can run it both. But you don't want to run like a McAfee and a Norton and a Trend Micro and a Panda and everything else and we'll stuff We'll explain the difference in those in a different video, but... Yeah. But this, yeah. this is a basics, and we're going to title this, you know, um, what the best antivirus software on the, on the market is. And our opinion. Our opinion. And we think Microsoft Security Essentials is. It's the lightest footprint, the lightest weight virus scanner you can find that I can find. I've been in thousands of computers, and I've tried them all. With You're the looking to problems. people that have tried all thousands of times, remotely, thousands. And we know the feel of the computer once we pull it out. Um, so there you go. So you guys have a good one, and don't freak. Ring a geek. Like and share this video. Subscribe, too. Comments are appreciated. We like well. them, too. <laughs>